things. Grandfather. Now, there's something coming up that you need to know about. For some of you, it will just be <clears throat> something you hear about. For others, it will be something that you see. And for still others, it might be something that activates a different sense. Meaning, have you ever had those moments when you were thinking about something and you remember a fragrance? I think you have had those moments. There will be an event that happens that occurs pretty soon. It will be sometime this year for most of you. For some of you, you will get a quick flash of a field of flowers. You will look around, what, what was that? Or you might just simply say, oh, that was nice. For others, you will get a quick moment, just a second, maybe less, of a fragrance of flowers. I'm not talking about an artificial perfume. By that I mean something that someone might dab upon themselves and leaves a lilting fragrance, or perhaps something stronger. I'm talking about something that you might notice if you've been around flowers when they're growing, especially in, uh, say, a greenhouse where the fragrance is quite significant, or in a garden, especially some types of flowers, eh? Jasmine or something. And you might find that this moment will just be a bit strange. Some of you will think, oh, it's, it's that lady who just passed by. And of course, that might be the case. But for many of you, you won't be in a place or a situation where that could be rationalized. It's more likely to be something like, oh, what was that? Wow, that was fabulous. That smelled great. I wish uh, my surroundings always smelled like that. You might think to yourself. This fragrance represents something that you all have that is being revealed to you a little bit more now. You know you all have guides and angels. Most of the time your contact with them is very brief when you are conscious, when you are awake. If you are attuned to your guide or angel you might get the sensation of a word or a suggestion. It will always be benevolent, meaning supportive, kind, gentle for you and for others. But the greater contact that you have with these beings is when you're at the deep sleep level and your soul can travel. Oh, it's tethered to your body, so you're not soulless when you're sleeping. But it can migrate a bit here and there to different places where guides and angels reside. And you have your talks then with your teachers. There's something that happens there. One of the things that happens when you're having those talks with guides and teachers, spirit teachers, you understand, and angels, is that there's an overriding fragrance it smells very much like flowers. What's going to happen this year is that your guide or your angel or your spirit teacher is going to be allowed, yes, they operate under certain parameters too, just like you, to come close enough to you that you will be able to have a brief moment of an awareness of that fragrance in your conscious day-to-day -day life. 
I want you to know that that's what that is about. It doesn't mean that you're going to die. It doesn't mean that the uh, Creator is going to uh, uh, bring you all home immediately. It means that Creator, if this is home and this is Earth, okay, and where you are, Creator is going to briefly do this. You're going to meet in the middle and then resettle into your respective positions. This is happening as a gift to remind you that the process you're on now is a gradual waking up to remember who you are and uniting those immortal portions of your spirit with your day-to-day -day life. I just thought you'd like to know about that because for most of you, it will be a wondrous moment if you know about that. If you don't know about that, it'll at least be a nice moment. Good life.